Hey everyone, Dodo Reactions here, and today I'm gonna be watching some more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is Season 2, Episode 5, titled Reptile Boy. I was advised by so many of you to use the original version of the series instead of the HD version. From this episode on, I'm gonna be using the original version of the series because one of my amazing subscribers shared his very own, very self-made, uh, very self-made Buffy archive with me. Um, it contains every single episode of the series in the age, in the uh, original version. It also contains a lot of background information. It also um, deals with the Buffy comics and the Buffy novels and uh, the Buffy fan fiction. Um, it's I just I just can't believe the amazing amount of support. Um, that I get from you guys it, it's it's been uh, just an amazing ex experience Andrew Early thank you so much for sharing this work with me I can highly recommend it you'll find the link to the archive in the description of the video I just want to use that opportunity to thank all of you guys of course um, if it hadn't been for you it wouldn't have been uh, that such an incredible journey and i i'm i'm all, uh, uh, i'm in at the beginning of season two so there is a lot uh, there's a lot of episodes to come a lot of seasons to come yet to come and it's already been a, 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 a great experience it's been quite a ride already and i can't wait to continue this amazing journey with all of you so before i start crying <laughs> let's just uh Let's get into it. Ah! Hey, Callie, Callie, where are you going? Oh, he's just getting started. Dr. Debbie says when a man is speaking, you make serious eye contact and you really, really listen and you laugh at everything he says. <laughs> so convincing. You skipped hand to hand entirely. Are you going to be prepared if a demon springs up behind you and does this? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not a demon. You should hone your skills day and night. And the little slice of Day life that still belongs chill, to dude. me from, I don't know, 7 to 7.05 in the morning. Can I do what I want then? You, you, you have a duty, a, a purpose. You have a commitment in life. Now, how many people your age can say that? I suggest you come straight here at the end of, of period six and, and you get your homework done. And don't dawdle with your friends. My God. And, and don't think sitting there pouting is going to get to me because it won't. <laughs> This is so much day. like a father-daughter relationship. Oh my yeah, God, of course I they love that. By. Cordelia. Hi, Richard. Nice car. <sighs> so, um, we're having a little get-together tomorrow night at the house. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, Excuse me? <laughs> I'd love, love to go. So who's your friend? Her? Oh, she's not my friend. I don't really want to meet any fraternity boys. And if there was a guy, don't you think he'd keep it that way? I'm Richard, and you are? So not interested. <laughs> she's such a little comedian. Uh, feel free to ignore him. I do all the time. Punch him. I'm Tom Warner. I'm a senior at Crestwood College, and I... You know, I just feel like a complete dolt meeting you this way, so... Here I stand in all my doltishness. Um, Buffy Summers. Oh, nice to meet you. Are you a senior here? Junior. Buffy! Holy shit. I hate these guys. Whatever they want just Me too, falls into their Me too, because they're lives. evil. There's blood on it. Hi. It's nice to... Blood? <laughs> I could smell it. Thinking wouldn't it be funny sometime to see each other when it wasn't a blood thing? What are you saying? Do you want to date? No. You don't want to date? Who said date? I, I, I never said date. You just want to have coffee or something. You're 16 years old. I'm 241. 41. I don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you want. Oh, no, I, I think I do. I want out of this conversation. When I kiss you, 
You don't wake up from a deep sleep and live happily ever after. No. When you kiss me, I want to die. Oh. The Zeta Kappas have to have a certain balance at their party. And Richard explained it all to me, but I was so busy really listening that I didn't hear much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the deal is they need you to go. I'll go. You'll go? <laughs> Great. I'll drive. Oh, Buffy, it's like we're sisters with really different hair. Let uh, you go? Okay, let me think. Um, no! <laughs> God, I love high school girls. Yeah. She'll patrol and, and we'll reconvene. Uh, hello? She's standing right here. And she's not available. Mm. I've got a mountain of homework to do. My mom's not really feeling well and she could probably use my help. And, um... To be truthful, I'm not feeling all that well myself. Oh, well, well, sorry, of course, if, if, if you're not well. <laughs> well, say it. I'm not gonna say it. You lied to Giles. So she will. Look, I wasn't lying. I was just protecting him from information that he wouldn't be able to digest properly. Like a corn dog. Like you don't have a sick mother, but you'd rather go to a frat party where there's gonna be drinking and older guys and probably an orgy. This isn't about fun. This is about duty, your duty, to help me achieve permanent prosperity. What weird thing with Don't me? interrupt. Do be interested if someone should speak to you. It may or <laughs> may not happen. And laugh at the appropriate intervals. <laughs> no. Give it your all and keep to the shadows. We're going to have a blast. <laughs> <sighs> Why do they park so darn close to you? Are you ready for this? I don't know. She doesn't give a shit. Is Buffy wearing black? I thought she wasn't allowed to. Come on, Buffy. It's just a smidge. What do, you, what do you have to climb through the window? Do they have, like, a bouncer or something? I'm really glad that you decided to come. Is he a part of that? Fury um, Club? No, it's... I shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. New pledge. New pledge. New pledge! New, New pledge! pledge! New, New pledge! New pledge! New pledge! Bent. Sent. Brent. No, Kent Preparatory School, just outside of town. That's where I've seen these bracelets. A missing girl. Oh. Is she drunk? Or she's been drunk? Okay, this kind of gives me the AHS season 3 vibes. She's not here for your fun, you pervert. She's here for the pleasure of the one we serve. And that goes for the other one, too. So you're a dick, too. Of course. Of course, Cordelia is a victim again. Currently, Megan Anderson. Missing for over a week. No one's seen her. No one knows what happened to her. For over a week. Sunny, Dale, and She's I been hanging we there for like good. a week? I'm calling Buffy. No! Why not? Because Buffy and her mother... I'm sick. No, you're quite right. No, there's no point in disturbing them until we know more. You mean, like, if there are others? Brittany Oswald, junior at St. Michael's, disappeared a year ago. So did Kelly Purcell, sophomore at Grant. A year? Almost to the day. An anniversary, or perhaps some other event significant to the killer. Killer? Now there's a killer? We don't know that there's no, a... No, but this being Sunnydale and all. Gulp. We need to know where Buffy found that bracelet. And we can begin our search there. Good idea. Call Angel. He was there when Buffy found it. Does he have We're a phone? We're need all the help we can get. <laughs> Party's over, jerk water. Wait, a friend of mine was here. They drugged us. Why? Why do they 
going to do to us? I don't know. Look, one of them is different than the others. Nicer. He's the one to watch out for. Oh. Buffy! Boy, we don't know that it's concrete. Let's not disturb her until... Is there! With Cordelia, they went to a party at the Zeta Kappa house. Thank she you. To me? Because you gave her the brush off. And you never let her do anything except work and patrol. And I know she's the chosen one, but you're killing her with the pressure. I mean, she's 16 going on 40. And you! I mean, you're gonna live forever. You don't have time for a cup of coffee? Wow. Oh, Buffy. I love her so much. Wow. I don't feel better now, and you've got to help Buffy. That was amazing. There's something down there, and he's going to throw us down there with it. I don't think so. No? It's coming up. Well, that's good. That that's. I don't think we go to it. It comes to you. I think it comes to us. <laughs> It's <laughs> this like that's the like reptile boy. You know what? Where are they? That's for the makeup, and that's for the last sixteen and a half years. Serve you to him in pieces. Let her go, Wormy. You saved us. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my home. You guys. I just hate you guys. I'm sorry. So am I. I drive you too hard because I, I know what you have to face. From now on, no, no more pushing, no more prodding. Just um, an inordinate amount of nudging. They've all been sentenced to consecutive life sentences. Investigators found the bones of missing girls in a huge cavern beneath the frat house, and older bones dating back 50 years. Surprising number of corporations whose chairmen and founders are former Delta Zeta Kappas are suffering from falling profits, IRS raids, ah, oh, and suicides ah. in the courtroom. <laughs> Starve a snake, lose a fortune. Boy, I guess the rich really are different, huh? Angel, angel, angel. Does every conversation we have have to come around to that freak? Oh, angel. Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> I hear this place, uh, sir, oh, thought maybe you and I should get some. Sometime. If you want. All thanks yeah. to Willow. Sometime. She breaks. She loves you, but then she takes it away. She so that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season two, episode five, titled Reptile Boy. First of all, watching this in the original version was amazing, I have to say. It it just felt so much like like watching a 90s show. I'm a 90s child. I'm a late 80s child, but those three months, like, who cares? <laughs> Once again, Andrew Early, thank you so, so much for giving me access to your archive. That was amazing. <laughs> the monster was, like, not intimidating at all. It kind of... It kind of looks... Um, I won't say cute, but... <laughs> It wasn't really scary, so but but I I don't care I don't care at all. It was still uh, of course it was still funny because of Cordelia mostly once again, her being the victim is just awesome <laughs> because I uh, kind of know that uh, she's uh, not gonna die or something at least I hope so. If you kill off Cordelia, then oh my god I swear. Um, yeah, Giles kind of annoyed me. In this episode, he kind of infuriated me, to be honest. <sighs> because because Buffy just wanted to have just one normal night, and it 
didn't work out at all again. But uh, in the right in the end, it was kind of cute when he said he's pushing her t so hard because he just he just doesn't doesn't want anything to happen to her. That's sweet. Like I said, I really like that. Um, to me, it's like a father daughter relationship, and I really like them. I really like them together when they're uh, together and having. Uh, and have this uh, like touching uh, scenes together. I like that a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. I clearly did. I so did. <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next uh, episode. Until then, bye. <laughs>